Yes, please. Okay, I'm on there. Um, question from Katie, please. Yes. Um, you've been working hard for Italy for a long time. You've had some difficult days. Can you explain your emotions now, being able to finish a championship with two victories and a draw? How does it feel personally and how does it feel for the team? Well, um, I guess um, that's, that's the reason why we step onto the pitch every single day and that's the reason why we work that hard. Um, every single time we step into a rugby pitch, we know we want to win and we want to achieve these sort of results. Uh, but we know how hard it is to play against such a team as, as Wales that has lots of culture, lots of, lots of tradition against a team like, like Scotland that obviously they've got many, many things that works for, for their own. So we just need to find out how we can be better than them. And that's, that's, all, that's what all of, what's all about. Um, so the emotion I feel now, it's obviously We've achieved something. We've achieved one of our goals since 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 the start of the season. But I'm sure the next time I'll I'll watch a game or the next time I want to uh, I want to prepare for another game, I'll have the same hungry that I have now because I want to still keep on winning, keep on this this you know this wave that that we are in at the moment. So now we got the job to do with, with our clubs and it's the same, it's, it's pretty much the same. Every single one of us knows that we need to do something more than the others um, in order to achieve our, our, our goals. And so if, if, we, if we get confident in that and keep doing it for, for a long time, then the results will come. So obviously this is more logical than than a emotional side um i understand that but that's that's how i am um on the emotional part i have to say at the moment i'm too tired to <laughs> to to feel my 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 feelings honestly uh i just want to to share it with with the guys that i've been working for a long time and with my family obviously so I'm just proud of, of my team. Thank you very much. And Gonzalo, please could you explain the key things you think have improved since you've come in and the key things you identified defensively clearly has been an improvement? Yes, I, as I was saying in Italian, I think that um, we, yeah, we've been working for, for five months now with the staff, even if it's the preparation with the whole team all together was a bit short. Um, I think the first thing we needed to do is... Uh, redefine exactly what was the identity that this team wanted to be, what would be the the real team identity of Italy, what would be what would make Italy different to the others. Obviously me being Latin, I, I thought I had a bit the answers or, or where I knew where I wanna share the, the path I wanna share with them. So we've been doing a lot of workshops, a lot of uh, meetings, uh, making the players think, making the players express themselves. And I think what the main thing that happened is that we went to the roots and to the to the basics of uh, what Italian rugby is, I think, without losing that attacking power that is was important the last years and that I really believe that's where rugby is going and that was where rugby must go. Uh, teams that attack, we should be uh, rewarded. So without losing that uh, capacity of attack, I think we we made a bit uh, we make their heart flow, their put that that passion, that heart, that character that Italian rugby can have and uh, that can be expressed in the set piece and in the defense needed to appear stronger and and that belief of the players that because they have a they have been links. Uh, their commitment with the jersey and between each other was was huge before I arrived, and is and is still growing. Mm. But then it was a matter of uh, just organizing that a bit better so that we can use that incredible power in the good moments and uh, at the good time. So I think that's what the improvement we were looking for and that we shared with the with the leaders. And then I think the the way we 
we organize, of course, the defense on the set piece, as I said, but I think we we attack better with and without the ball. Um, it, we talked a lot about that, uh, always attack, not only attack when we have the ball, but attack also with the chase in our kicks or with the defense, definitely. And I think the, 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 the team started feeling that change and believing on that change. And I think uh, today was the best game maybe of, of, of that path that we decided to take and that they executed absolutely amazingly. Sorry, just just one more question because you have to start the mix zone. Got to do it with your clubs as well now. Benetton are already having a very good season. At the end of twenties have won two games. Do you think overall there's a bright future ahead after this from where you are this season? Well, yeah, I think we've we've been talking a lot about like future, especially over the last ten years. I think I've heard like thousands of times we have to work for the future there is a bright future honestly i'm sick of that i want to live the You're moment old. we want to see <laughs> I'm, I'm actually getting old as well but we want to live now we want to start winning now we want to start being you know competitive now not tomorrow not the next day now so this is this is the main thing that we need to improve in our heads obviously it's tough in Italy because you don't have a winning culture. You don't have something. And so you need to create a strong base where you can get the youngest one on that they find a, a big, a big uh, you know, environment where they can express themselves in the best way. So the aim for Benetton, for the national team, for the youngest one is to give them the chance to express themselves in the, in the, in the best way. If I have to be honest, when I when I was younger, I didn't got that chance. Uh, I think we we were put in a difficult situation, honestly. Uh, but that gives us the opportunity to get a little bit of of, of experience, and now we can share it with uh, with the youngest one. So, if you tell me, I think Italy has a bright future. I'll tell you yes, but tomorrow is the day that we want to win again and again. Thanks. Thanks, we can start the mixed zone. Grazie. Yeah.